Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast right off the bat on today's show. BMW has officially leaked some photographs of the brand new Z4. Now the trick is it's just leaked photographs so we really don't know too much about this particular machine. But I have to say it looks pretty doggone good even though in some shots it really does look like an Alpha 124. That being said, this vehicle will make its official debut in Monterey, California later this week, so stay tuned. We'll hopefully have some more information about this machine coming soon. And next up on the list, well, Hearst is celebrating, Hearst, that being the rental company, is celebrating its 100th anniversary and hooked up with the folks over at General Motors using the Chevrolet Corvette that they're going to have a hundred of that you and I could rent. The trick of this Corvette it's a Z06. Yes, supercharged V8, 650 horsepower, 650 pounds-feet of torque, shifted through an 8-speed automatic transmission, and that is exclusive. They're not going to let you get a hold of a manual. Like I said, only 100 of these are out for the world. Only 200 bucks a day, which is, I have to say, somewhat of a bargain. I can remember probably 10 years ago or so, my father and stepmother actually sponsored a trip because they wanted everybody to actually go skiing out in Colorado. We had rented a little home in Breckenridge, Colorado. Trick is, fat people don't ski. We just roll down hills. So I obviously wasn't going to do any of that kind of stuff. So I looked into renting something cool that I could play with for the week. Now here's the trick. The cars that I had on offer were just basically the standard Corvette and a 370Z. But then it snowed eight inches the first day we were there, which kind of made either one of those vehicles inoperable, so I actually didn't rent those. That being said, I can remember, I think, at least $140 a day, I think, for either one of those vehicles. So it was pretty pricey. So to rent a Z06 for just $200 a day, I have to say, is a pretty doggone good deal. In fact, planning on a little trip to Florida in the month of January... I think I'm going to have to give Hertz a call. May have to rent one of these cars for a couple, three days. That would be a doggone hoot. So, and obviously, 200 bucks a day to the general public, this is going to end badly, I think. At least you're going to know that at least 100, out of that 100, maybe, I don't know, 50 of these things are going to end up wrecked pretty bad. So, we'll definitely keep you tuned if we hear more about this situation. And last up on the list, Ford showing off the Cobra Jet Mustang, their drag race only special. In its 50th anniversary, this vehicle made its official debut at the Winter Nationals in 1968. Well, not this particular vehicle, but the first generation of the Cobra Jet. Now, this many years later, the 50th anniversary of the Cobra Jet is celebrated with a 5.2 liter supercharged Coyote V8 that makes horsepower and torque numbers that Ford really won't tell us anything about. Shift through a three-speed automatic transmission, nine-inch rear end, no independent rear suspension on this thing, a live axle in the rear of this vehicle. They're claiming this vehicle can do eight and a half seconds in the quarter mile. Now, this thing, the really trick is, it's not straight legal. It's for race purposes only. Completely stripped out, no interior features on the inside of the vehicle. Full roll cage, it's got adjustable coilovers on all four corners, skinnies up front, drag radials in the rear, a lot of carbon fiber pieces on this thing, wheelie bars, the lot. The vehicle is available in only race red or Oxford white, like is in this particular photograph. And this thing is legal for stock competition in NHRA and IHRA stock competition. And you can buy this thing right from your local Ford dealership. Walk right into the showroom, order this thing right up, and it'll come right to you. Not sure how many they're actually going to build of this. It looks like that it's a build-to-order type situation. So you're not just going to wander into your Ford dealership and find one of these things sitting on the showroom floor. Unless somebody orders one and then doesn't actually take possession of it. But it is totally legal for drag race competition, any track, anywhere around the world. It's even got a parachute on the back of it. So this thing is fully equipped to take on the likes of the Copo Camaro and the Drag Pack Challengers. So pretty neat piece of kit and big celebration for the 50th anniversary. They showed this thing off officially at the Woodward Dream Cruise on Woodward Avenue up in Detroit, Michigan. 
And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.